Hello everyone, welcome to a new lecture. In this video, we are going to talk about the scientific method. But before we do that, what is science in the first place? Well, science is a somatic knowledge of the physical world. The word science comes from the Latin word scienita, meaning knowledge. It is, as I mentioned, a systematic knowledge of the physical world. Some describe science as a model for reality. We observe and we try to understand and represent how nature and natural phenomena and processes happen. Science is exciting, it is very useful, and it is ongoing. We assume in science that the natural world behaves in a consistent and predictable manner and our goal is to discover the underlying patterns in nature and then to use this knowledge to make predictions about what should or should not be expected given certain facts or circumstances but how do we produce science or how do we come about getting science well we do that through something that is called scientific method scientific method is a process by which we produce knowledge or science so let's talk about topic of this lecture which is scientific method what are the steps that go into finding knowledge or producing knowledge through scientific method well we have several steps we basically make an observation in the physical world and then we try to ask a question why this thing is happening then we come up with a hypothesis that explains why this kind of behavior is happening then we test our hypothesis to see whether we are right or wrong then we either modify our hypothesis if it's not correct based on the test that we run or we stick to it and it becomes a theory these are the steps that go into scientific method we make an observation then we ask a question then we come up with a hypothesis that explains and gives an answer to the question we test our hypothesis we modify our hypothesis if it's not correct or accurate then until it becomes correct and matches our tests and results and then it becomes a theory so these are the steps that go into producing knowledge or to scientific method let me give you a couple of examples let's say we make this observation particles in water changes freezing point so water without any particles in it has a certain freezing point when we add particles in it it changes the freezing point we make this observation then we ask the question does particles increase or decrease freezing point this is our question we had an observation and now we make a question about it we ask a question about it this is our question our hypothesis is particles increase freezing point so as you can see we observed we asked the question then we make a hypothesis but as you can see, this hypothesis is not based on anything. We did not run any tests. We don't have any data. It is not backed by any evidence. So in order to see if our hypothesis is true or correct, we have to have data and run tests and experiments. For that, we test our hypothesis. We conduct experiments that prove or disprove our hypothesis of particles increase freezing point. When we do that, if our results contradict our hypothesis, we modify our hypothesis. If it doesn't, we will get a theory. We get a theory when results matches our hypothesis. And when we get our theory, we publish our results. This is basically the steps that go into making a scientific theory. We observe, then we ask a question about our observation. We come up with a hypothesis that explains our question. We test our hypothesis to have data and back our hypothesis. If it's true, it becomes a theory. Theory. If it's not true, we modify it, then we run some more tests until our hypothesis matches reality and our hypothesis becomes a theory. Let me give you another example. Assume we have this observation, oranges did not grow this year. We have a lot of plants, we make this observation, we have oranges in the plants and they did not grow this year. So we ask, why did oranges not grow this year? This is our question. So our explanation for this question or our hypothesis is maybe they did not grow because they did not get much rain. This is the reason the oranges did not grow. This is our hypothesis. Well, we have to test it. How do we test it? Maybe we'll test it this way. Orange plants receive the same amount of water. Then each receive different amount of water to see if those who receive less amount of water, they grow less or more. The results that we get is plants that receive one cup of water daily grew to one and a half inches in diameter and those receiving two cups of water grew to three fourths inches in diameter. So as you can see, those who got more water grew more than those who got less water. This result matches our hypothesis. So our theory becomes correct or is true. Our theory of the observation or the question that answered why did oranges not grow this year? We said because they did not get much rain. Our theory was correct because the results matched our theory growth of the orange plants is due to amount of water they receive so as you can see these are the steps that go into producing science through scientific method we make an observation we ask a question about our observation we come up with a hypothesis but we have to test it to see if our hypothesis is correct or not we modify our hypothesis if our test results is not matching our hypothesis when our test results and our hypothesis matches it becomes a theory and then we publish it and with this we come to the end of our lecture. See you in the next one.